Oke, okay, assalamualaikum guys. Uh, I'm sorry for being uh, the trouble. Then we continue for Q&A. Um, so, in this session, um, we will answer the question from you all. That from the first, uh, sorry, for the first is from Nadia Hidayah. Okay. Um, my friends, um, Hilwa Soliha, maybe you can answer the question. Okay, uh, I will answer Nadia question. I'm um, sorry, Hilwa, uh, speak loudly. Okay, I will answer the Nadia question. The question is, what we consider before choosing the best testing method? Uh, the first, we have to consider about consistency, like if you give the same exam twice to the same student, they should get a similar grade each time. And the second, you should uh, consider validity. Make sure your question address what you want to evaluate. The third, uh, your exam should contain question that match the student ability level and the fourth uh, an exam avoid exam is too easy question because it doesn't accurately measure student understanding of the material okay nadia it's enough okay nadia it's clear enough Yes, thank you, Hilwa. Okay, thank you, Nadia Hidayah. Uh, and the next is the question from Akila Rosa will be answered by uh, my friends. Who want to answer? Uh, I want to answer the question from Ocha. Uh, sorry, guys, for a not conducive voice. Um, the question is, where is the question? Nurul, can you tell me equation? Sorry. Sorry, Akila, maybe you can um, repeat your question. Okay, now school is online. For sure, teachers do test via online or using CBT. Uh, how uh, many students must be cheating? How the teachers know how far the student understand about the learning? Okay, uh, let's review look two types of best on the form yeah. of implementation on the first slide. Just know, uh, okay, uh, there are oral tests and performance here. Yes, that's right. Uh, I think by oral tests, we can get to know how understanding the students because they are will answer the question by spontaneously. Then uh, maybe not all also, not all lessons can have an oral test, but we can do it before the exam is carried out. For example, we conduct the quiz and oral test to measure the, the extent of students' readiness to pass the exam. Okay, uh, it's clear, Ocha? It's clear, thank you, Sukma. Welcome. Okay, La Rosa, thank you for your question. And the last question is from Tiara Fidia. Um, will be answered by um, Hilwa or other, maybe?
For Shafa, maybe you want to answer Tiara, Tiara's question? I will answer Sorry, Shafa, maybe your connection is unstable. But the computer test is... Tiara. Okay. The question is what the effective of learning for students be paper test or computer test. It's too tight. Tiara, do you understand? Sorry, Tiara, can you hear Shafa voice? Maybe, yes, uh, sorry, her connection is unstable. If you want to clearly, I want to repeat it. I'm sorry, I can hear voice. Uh, okay, let me um, answer your question. Um, your question is, what the effect of learning for student between paper test or computer test is true or not? Tiara, is that your question? Yes, is it true? Uh, okay, let me um, answer your question. Um, it's effective if the paper test can also train us to write. But the computer test is faster because it only remains to type. Um, then uh, I think also that um, between paper test or computer test is best. Um, have a positive and negative side. Uh, let's we look to another uh, side. If uh, paper test, is trying us to write and if um, computer test is um, we can be faster because we just type the answer and another okay maybe that's all my answer um it's clear enough tiara video yes it's very clear thank you okay thank you thank you tiara for your question Um, okay, um, my friends, um, maybe um, until here our meeting and I'm sorry for being our mistake uh, in this meeting. So uh, if you want to, and if you want to ask another question, you can contact us or um, chat in the group. Okay, maybe, maybe until here our meeting. Thank you so much for your coming and the last uh, we say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.